<clears throat> Shalom. Brother Kabad back with another GMS lesson. GMS keep pushing. Before I go any further, I give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only God and Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakak Wadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Teach us the truth according to the Bible over well. I know the one all these sincere actions throughout the four corners of the earth. Pushing this truth through diligence and sincerity and in charity. And the notion of one not you see your followers, believers of your help, watching your own shy. Not just hearers of the word, but doers as well. You men, women, and children, and hopefully you like Shalom. And, um, you know, this lesson is going to go into the famine. All right, this, um, this here. All right, don't, don't listen to the news don't listen you know when they say you know there's no such thing as you know a shortage of food these things are coming in this bible prophecy all right it's gonna come a time when you go to the store and what you see on the screen is gonna look just like this all right And no one's gonna have answers for you. This is Second Ezra chapter six verse twenty-two. And suddenly, shall the sown places appear unsold, and the full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. And this is a warning. This is a warning from you. How about Shimmy I was shy, man? Because that's what the Lord told us to do. To warn his people. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 3, verse 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. All right? Which consists of the so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, wherever they are scattered. All right? The Lord saw what I had apostles, elders, and great notes on down, and um, you know, brothers that are affiliated preaching the same doctrine has made us watchmen, all right, to watch over you to let you know a pending danger that's coming. It says, Therefore, hear the word in my mouth and give them warning for me. And what's one of the things we're warning you of? A lack of food, bread, water. All right. Going back. Going back. Um, once again, Second Ezra 16, 22. And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsold. So you're going to walk into a store one day that was once full, all right, had enough grocery, had enough uh, resources, and they're going to be, be not, they're not going to be there. All right, so the full storehouse shall suddenly be found empty. And what are you going to do when that happens, man? What are you going to do? All right, what you ought to be doing is praying to your Yahweh Shem Yahweh now that he has mercy on you when these times arrive. Because they're going to come. They're going to come. It's the book of 2 Ezra, chapter 15, verse 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which means to tell you something that's going to come to pass before it comes to pass which I will put in thy mouth saith the Lord this is not coming out the mouth of T.D. Jakes this is not coming out the mouth of Creepshow Dollar this is not coming out of the mouth of Joel Osteen this is coming out of the mouth of the men of the Lord man this way you're going to hear this message from the truth of the Bible. 
jump down. Verse 5, Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. See, these things that are happening, you're going to know it's a God of the Bible bringing it. Satan's going to go out the window. All right. Man's going to go out the window. You're going to understand that day that it was your how about me I was shot the world ignorantly and willingly called God and Jesus Christ that's bringing these things upon the earth. It says, Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. The sword, which is any killing instrument. All right. These times that we're living in, you gonna have people searching each other's houses for the lack of bread, kicking down doors and, and, and going in people's cribs and get whatever the hell they want. That's prophecy. It says famine, a lack of food, bread, resources, and we're seeing that now. You go to the store now, or any any restaurant. Oh, we don't have this. We don't have that. When you get in there, oh, we don't know. Because you ain't getting it in. All right? It's going to be a, a hike in prices. All right? Inflation is going to hit. And there's going to be nothing in the stores. People going to be scratching their heads, scratching their rumps. All right? Not knowing what the hell to do. It says death and destruction. All these things are coming. Thus said the Lord, thus said the Bible. Um, let's see here. This is Second Ezra chapter fifteen, verse twenty-seven. For now are the plagues come upon the whole earth, and ye shall remain in them. For Yahweh shall not deliver you. Because ye have sinned against him. And that's one of the major reasons why these things are going to happen amongst our people. Because you have sinned against your power and you continue to sin. That's why the Lord said, why should I stricken them anymore? They're going to revolt more and more. Alright? The Lord has to put you to death. You Israelites, you so-called Negro Latino Native Americans. You out here celebrating these pagan holidays, Christmas, Thanksgiving. All right. The Lord's going to visit you eating shrimp, pork, crab, lobster. The Lord's going to visit you idol worshiping, worshiping uh, 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 false idols and gods. The Lord is going to visit you. And our Lord and Savior's name is not Jesus. It's Yahweh, which means he delivered, he saves. In ancient Hebrew, lost one Kodash. The Lord was a Hebrew. He spoke Hebrew. From the tribe of Judah, which makes him a Hebrew Israelite, so called black man. All right. If you're down with the ways of this world, the Lord is going to visit you. And one of the ways he's going to visit you is through a famine, man. Through a famine, man. All right. That's why it's very important to serve the Lord as he commands us to. Because the ones that are, are going to eat. They're going to eat well too. And it all from this. This is Isaiah 65. Well, therefore will I number you to the sword and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter because when I called ye did not answer the Lord's calling our people now what is men on the highways and byways week in and week out preaching this blessed word when I spake ye did not you did not hear but the evil before my eyes and did not choose that wherein I delighted because the Lord delights in us keeping his word keeping his law and our people didn't delight in that. So it's going to come a, a recompense. So therefore thus said the Lord power. Behold my servants shall eat. But ye shall be hungry. Behold my servants shall drink. But ye shall be thirsty. Behold my servants shall rejoice. 
but ye shall be ashamed. You see? And that time we're living in for this to happen is now. It's happening now. Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for of heart and howl for vexation of spirit. You will be in that spirit of damn, I fucked up. Excuse my rude speech. But it's going to be too late, man. And the servants of the Lord, the ones that's been doing what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh has commanded of them to the best of their ability, rehearsing the righteous acts. All right. They're going to be rejoicing, man. Lord will, we're going to be rejoicing. Right? You sincere Akim and Akwa. All right? You sincere uh, followers, believers of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Not just hearers of the word, but doers as well. Lord will, we gonna be eating, man. All right, like it tells you in Luke, the 21st chapter. Watch ye therefore and pray always that you are able to escape these things that are coming. And famine is coming. All right? So keep watching, keep praying, and pray that you have, Bashim, I have mercy upon us in these latter days. All right, so Lord willing, that's what's edifying. Next time I say Shalom.